What's up guys? It's Bailey. Um, so, I've been a little inconsistent. I've been a little um, gone. I usually try to post once a week and school has been kicking my ass. So, sorry. Today I'm bringing you a video and I hope it's going to be kind of fun. It's something that I've never done before and I kind of want to start making videos that I haven't done before. So, that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to be reading and reacting to your deepest secrets. I honestly have no idea what to expect. I didn't read any of them. I posted this on my Instagram story yesterday and I basically just said, you know, tell me your biggest secrets. And some of you did, so we're just going to react to those. I don't, I don't really know what to do. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny because whenever I do these like question things on Instagram, my friends always swipe up with the funniest things and it just makes me laugh. But okay, the first one, I hooked up with an identical twin and I can't tell him and his brother apart. Okay, well, uh, you know, it happens. Well, does it? Uh, I feel like that's a rare occurrence, but also, like, I can see where that could maybe go wrong. <laughs> what the f am I supposed to say? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I f my best friend's dad? You're kidding. I'm hiding my boyfriend from my mom. I, I don't know why. Unless you're like not allowed to date, why don't you just tell her? I feel like she would be like happy. Obviously, unless she just doesn't approve of you having a relationship. Wait, is that bad? I feel like you should just come forward unless she has like a really big problem with it because then you'll be able to talk to her about it. I sneak out of my house every Friday. Same. My cousin smoked weed with me and I never told anyone. Um, you know, I feel like that's not that big of a deal. Um, did y'all have a good time? Or I don't really condone you to just like go around and smoke, but like you were with your cousins. I assume they were maybe older than you, so like you were safe. You know, you're in a safe environment, I think. Maybe. I don't really know where you were. You could have been literally in a fing alley and Okay. When I was eight I pooped in a bush and I'm thirteen and people still make fun of me. How did you did you like go inside the bush? How did that like work? Did you squat over the bush or I have questions for you. Um I don't know where a toilet was located and why you couldn't use that, but I've definitely gone pee outside, but that was like in the grass, not on a bush. Um I don't know what to tell you, that's a little strange, but you know, if you had to do it, you had to do it, so. Imagine if I just exposed all of these people and I just like put their names. <laughs> That'd be so funny. What? When I was younger, we were having a bath together and I jokingly tried to drown her. You don't just drown someone. I'm almost 15 and I'm still scared of the dark. Bro, me too. I never tell anybody this, but I'm low-key, so I get so anxious in the dark. I literally hate the dark so much. I just feel so, like, ah. I starved myself and changed for people to like me. They ended up not liking me, aka my parents. Honey, I am so sorry. I, I can't imagine what that would be like, but all you need to know is that you do not have to change yourself for anybody else, your parents, your friends, boys, girls. Literally, you do not have to change yourself for anybody but yourself. And if you're gonna try to change yourself, please do it in a healthy way because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. As long as you're healthy, that's all that matters. And that literally breaks my heart. And just know that you're good enough for me. I don't know who you are, but know that you do not have to change yourself. Um, I hate life right now. Same. I like four boys. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I think that's fine. Is it? Mm, probably not, but also like, you know, it doesn't matter. I've never been the type of person that can like like multiple people at once. Like I just don't get how that works because for me, if I like somebody, I just like lose interest in anybody else that comes across in my life. I don't know, but I definitely have friends that have like decided between guys before and stuff and I, I don't really understand it, but you know, if you wanna like four guys, you know, you like four guys. I kiss my best friend's boyfriend and she still doesn't know. Mm, mm, I don't want to, I don't want to sound, mm, I don't want this to come across the wrong way. That is not okay. I'm sorry, if you're going around kissing your best friend's boyfriends, you might as well just tell your best friend that you f***ing hate her. Because if she finds out, mm, not going to be pretty. I've got a crush on my guy best friend of 10 years. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see where that can be a little... 
traumatic. Liking one of your friends is kind of just a tough scene all around, no matter if you've known them for 10 years or 2 years or 3 months. If you're friends and then all of a sudden you somehow catch feelings, it's just usually not good. Um, usually doesn't end well. I hope it ends well for you. I... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I accidentally... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at what happened, but this is just... Okay, I'm not laughing at what happened, I'm just laughing because it kind of caught me off guard. I accidentally killed my family's dog, and I was like 10, and I didn't know dogs can't eat chocolate. Well, now you know, dogs can't eat chocolate. I'm very sorry for your loss. That's also a very tough scene, in my opinion. Um, sorry that that happened. <laughs> I kissed half a boy's friend group. Haven't we all? I kissed my cousin at the age of six and it got a little intense even though we were kids. How do you get intense with anything when you're six? With your cousin? Y'all, what in the Alabama? Absolutely not. Don't be doing that. Even if you were six, don't be doing that. I accidentally kissed my brother's best friend. Okay, you don't have to lie to me. There's no way you accidentally kiss your brother's best friend. I've never once accidentally kissed someone. It's just like, oh! Shit. Oh. Uh, sorry. That was an accident. That doesn't happen. You had to have, like, you kissed him on purpose. Or he kissed you on purpose. Something happened. But it wasn't an accident. I peed myself in my friend's house, so I spilt water all over me, and to this day, she doesn't know. I don't really know what to say about that one. Um, I feel like you maybe should tell her now. Maybe? I don't, I don't really know. Just a thought. For what reason? Like, for what reason did y'all feel the need to do that? Your parents were right next to- Nah. I- I gotta go. I like toxic guys. <laughs> Bro, me. I slept with my social studies teacher. You gotta chill. I ate a face mask on accident. What is- what is your guys' deal? Like, you just are doing all of these super strange things on accident. How do you just ingest a face mask? Like, I just don't understand. I don't. I hooked up with three guys in one night while my mom thought I was at Bible study. <sighs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I never told my crush I liked him and then one day he died and I regret never telling him. I'm sorry, but like, how did he just die? Um, that's really sad, if that's true. Um, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I actually killed my cat. I was sleeping and I suffocated it. You want to hear a really f***ed up story? Um, I know somebody that had a baby and they got a babysitter and the babysitter literally fell asleep on the f***ing baby and literally killed it. Like, that... That is so, oh my god. I literally forgot that that happened, but that little cat thing just reminded me of that. Please don't fall asleep next to small creatures because, <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Um, these are getting like very repetitive and not that interesting. I have a crush on my cousin, LOL. What do I do? Absolutely nothing. You forget that you ever had that thought and you literally walk in the other direction from that. No. I don't know how many times. No. App, no. Like, you guys realize you share blood. Like, just no. Okay, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. Um, I know it was kind of weird. Hopefully it was entertaining, though. I definitely kind of had some fun. Um, if you guys want to see me do more, like, light hearted videos like this where I just kind of like react to stuff that you guys tell me. Um, I'm honestly down. I'm just sitting in my bed like cozy right now and just, you know, talking. Let me know. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Okay, bye.